everyone, it's Gianna Lum and Comes to Crypto, where we'll keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we're building a crypto movement that puts climate justice and economic empowerment. Today, I have some exciting news for the Cody community. If you've been on the show before, you probably know that I'm a big fan of Cardano. Cody is actually the issuer of Dejad, the Cardano stablecoin. Um, we're gonna have a lot more content soon on Cody because I think Cody lacks a community online, so I wanna create a good space for them. Um, we're also gonna see more world mobile token content and a little bit more on policy too. Um, I know we have a lot of Algorand fans out there. I'm personally a huge fan of Algorand. Um, we'll have some content here and there on Algorand too. I love how they're environmentally friendly, but right now I wanna show Cody some love because I personally think this is a really good investment. They have really good real world use case and so does World Mobile Token. So since you'll be seeing more Cody content, I wanna go over what makes Cody special. Here's a tweet. Cody thread. Cody has a multi-DAG data structure, trust chain, and here's why it is next level. Oh, one word I wanna go over real quick is DAG. A DAG is a directed acyclic graph. You can see this graph here. Basically what you need to know today is that a DAG makes scaling efficient. It avoids or reduces fees and they're really well suited for high volumes of transactions, including microtransactions. So this is gonna be key for scaling up or for expanding a network. Okay, so this is what makes Cody's multi-DAG data structure special. The trust chain, a unique consensus technique based on machine learning, is at the heart of Cody's infrastructure. So machine learning is a key component of Cody. You might've heard about AI and maybe AI taking over your job and stuff, um, hopefully in the next like 72 years or so, don't quote me on this, that's not gonna happen. But AI is becoming more and more accurate and people are using machines to have more accurate predictions. So that's a big component of Cody. And by giving transactions trust scores and grouping them into chains, it drastically reduces transaction costs and speeds up processing. So that's basically a way to just group the data more efficiently so that it runs more effectively. Over 100,000 transactions per second are processed by the multi-DAG directed acyclic graph data structure on which the trust chain is built, TPS. 100,000 TPS or transactions per second is insane. Uh, just to put that in perspective, Bitcoin is about seven TPS and PayPal is about 193 TPS. So that means how many transactions, how many like payments from one end to another happen per second. So that's super duper fast. And as you want more people on the network, as you want more people using it, um, you wanna have a really fast TPS so that there's no delays on the network. And by serving as a foundation for upcoming decentralized applications, our technology has the potential to fundamentally alter how people accept cryptocurrencies. We're gonna say dApps, it's gonna catch on. dApps are decentralized applications and Cody's trying to become a platform for dApps and they're trying to make it really, really user-friendly and really become the future of decentralized applications. There's also a bunch of key benefits. Multi-DAG. The Cody multi-DAG ecosystem is comparable to Ethereum and that it uses a single native token for paying fees in addition to a variety of tokens, smart contracts, and other components. A native token is a token that's an integral part of a blockchain. So Cody has their own coin, Cody. So this allows people to make payments and work with the network. They also have next level smart contracts. Decentralized on-chain smart contracts for the DAG are being introduced by Cody, a first of its sort. All smart contracts are stored in the Cody multi-DAG cluster and are confirmed after being verified numerous times by different full nodes. So it's decentralized, meaning that no one entity has control over them. There's no one person that's a monopoly and they're on-chain, meaning they're on the blockchain. And finally, I think this is the most important part about them, is that they have a framework for stable coins. The development of high-performance stable coins is made possible by the Cody multi-DAG, Cody smart contracts, and the potential for numerous Genesis transactions. Stable coins are less volatile than other cryptocurrencies since they're pegged to another asset. Um, since they have a framework with smart contracts, I think they're gonna be a really, really big stable coin with the Jad. Um, that's the Cardano stablecoin in the future. Um, we're really, really, really close to Dejad launching on the mainnet for Cardano. And I think once that happens, Cody's gonna become even bigger. So I'm definitely watching it right now. Um, not financial advice or anything, but that's why I've been looking at this a little bit more recently because this is gonna be huge once it's on the mainnet. But I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. 
But that's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.